the challenges are that the food system is failing. It's failing on the grounds of sustainability. Um, land is being degraded. We're overusing water. We're overusing fossil fuels in the form of pesticides and the form of um, nitrogen fertilizers. We're also there's also in terms of the contribution to greenhouse gas emissions, agriculture is very significant. Now we have to, so that's a challenge. It's not sustainable. At the same time, it's failing. We need to produce something of the order of 40% more food by 2030. Something of the order of 30 percent more available fresh water and we need clean energy because the demand for energy is going up. There's one and a half billion people who have no access to um, electricity. But if we're looking to the future and if we're thinking about how, the way that climate change is predicted to happen, water is going to be a problem that we'll, we'll have to address very soon and it of course is intimately linked to the, food, to the problem of food. There's been a myopia. We've been not, we have not been far-sighted. Um, we've had 20 or 30 years of declining real food prices and declining investment in agricultural research, declining investment not just in the fundamental research but in the extension services. The clear answer is one size doesn't fit all. Mm -hmm. um, there's got to be a role for understanding agroecology and indeed in terms of, of the problems of agriculture and climate change the phrase that the World Bank and, and others have coined is climate smart agriculture and that makes lots of sense. What is the direction of change? Is the direction of change in the way that addresses these global problems of food security, the climate smart agriculture and so on. The detail is complex. Thank you.